As the Ukraine conflict unfolds, there's a growing concern among military analysts and experts. The US-made guided weapons supplied to Kyiv are reportedly losing their effectiveness due to Russian electronic jamming, causing a significant shift in search battlefield dynamics. The Ukrainian armed forces, which initiated a highly anticipated counteroffensive last month, confirmed these concerns. The once formidable US munitions are falling short in their precision. In a revealing interview with Financial Times, Ukrainian Defense Minister Oleksiy Reznikov conceded that Russian electronic warfare EU, systems have managed to dampen the accuracy of GPS-guided munitions and HIMARS-MLRS. Despite the inherent precision of these munitions, Russian radio electronic systems have ingeniously found ways to jam them. As Reznikov candidly expressed to the publication, the Russians come up with a countermeasure, we inform our partners, and they create a new countermeasure against this countermeasure. This revelation comes at a time when Ukraine asserts to have regained some territory from Russia, using the equipment provided by its Western allies. Earlier in May, media reports suggested that Russia had been consistently disrupting attacks by the US-made HIMARS Multiple Launch Rocket System MLRS. By deploying electronic jammers, Russia has been able to confuse the rocket's GPS-guided targeting system, causing it to deviate from its intended targets. Despite the high expectations surrounding the U.S.'s delivery of the HIMARS, a game-changing artillery system, to Ukraine, its effectiveness has somewhat faltered in recent times. This equipment was instrumental in Ukraine's successful counteroffensive in September 2022, leading to the recapture of Kherson. However, its impact this time round hasn't quite hit the mark. For some time now, military experts have been suggesting that the Russians, initially thrown off by the HIMARS, have since adapted their approach to better handle this new challenge. As per reports from five sources affiliated with the US, UK, and Ukraine, shared with CNN, Russia's comprehensive jamming efforts have gradually undermined the effectiveness of these systems over recent months. In the words of a Pentagon official, the situation has evolved into a continuous cat-and-mouse game, as each side tries to outwit the other in the jamming and counter-jamming battle. The duration and eventual outcome of this strategic contest remain uncertain. The issue of HIMARS jamming is particularly pressing considering the heavy reliance of Kyiv's forces on this system to target Russian logistics and military infrastructure. In fact, the deployment of HIMARS has compelled Russia to retreat its equipment further from the front lines. This strategic shift signifies the significant role of this artillery system in the unfolding conflict. As retired U.S. Army Brigadier General Stephen Anderson points out to CNN, it's one thing to hold the Russians at bay where they currently are. It's another thing altogether to drive them out. He emphasizes that the Russians are entrenched, having been in position for a year now. The goal of any Ukrainian counteroffensive would be to push these forces even further back. Amid the surging counteroffensive, 
the Ukrainian defense minister has openly acknowledged the formidable strength of Russian electronic jamming. This could pose a significant challenge for the Ukrainian military as they strive to breach Russian lines. Previously, confidential Pentagon documents had leaked, unveiling that Russian forces were disrupting the functionality of the Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM, smart bombs supplied by the US. This interference led to a substantial decrease in the effectiveness of the guided rockets and bombs deployed by Kyiv's armed forces, as noted by unnamed American officials. The U.S. had armed the Ukrainian Air Force with its Joint Direct Attack Munition Extended Range JDAM -er, bombs. These munitions were capable of striking large Russian targets, including bridges and fortified structures, from significant distances. Reports of the Ukrainian military utilizing these U.S.-supplied JDAM -er bombs started circulating in early March. Traditional JDAMs depend on a blend of the inertial navigation system INS, and GPS guidance, along with an autopilot. This combination steers the bomb's course using adjustable tail fins. The comprehensive JDAM package features a new tail equipped with a GPS-assisted inertial navigation system INS, and strakes fitted elsewhere in the bomb's body. This design endows the bomb with a limited ability to glide toward its intended target. A recent report by the British think tank, the Royal United Services Institute, RUSI, highlighted the well-established fact that Russian land forces had deployed several electronic warfare EU, systems. Notably, some, such as the R-330ZH Jatel system used by the Russian army at a tactical level, are specifically designed to disrupt GPS broadcasts. Diving deep into the capabilities of the R-330ZH, it offers radio signal detection and assault abilities that span wave bands from 100 MHz to 2 GHz. Some sources suggest the technology can project jamming signals with a formidable power of 10 kilowatts. US GPS satellites, the lifeline of JDAM kits, transmit signals on wave bands from 1.164 GHz to 1.575 GHz. Intriguingly, they fall directly within the R330 Shiz catchment area. Official documents, as seen by the author, reveal a staggering jamming range of up to 30 kilometers, 18.6 miles, as cited by the Rusi report. This jamming power is significantly stronger than the GPS signal transmitted from space. The Rusi report highlights that the closer the GPS receiver is to the R-330 Shiz jamming antenna, the more intense the jamming signal. 